my lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today I'll be eating Peru or Peru. So I received this package from Leia. Leia, thanks so much for sending me this package of Peruvian treats. She worked with her friend Sebastian. Thank you, Sebastian, for sending me these treats from Peru. So thanks again, Leia and Sebastian, for sending me these Peruvian treats. So let's go ahead and eat. So check this out. This is called Inca Cola. And Leia says that this is the most popular Coca-Cola drink in Peru that's not Coke. <laughs> And indeed, it's made by Coca-Cola right there. She says it's best served chilled. I didn't have it chilled, but I do have a glass of ice, which is how I like my sodas anyways. Hmm, it smells like bubble gum. Wow. All right, let's give that a taste. Hmm, and it does taste bubble gummy. It tastes bubble gummy and a little bit citrusy. Interesting. Very, very sweet, but it's a soda, so it makes sense. And it's called Inca Cola. Peruvian friends, do tell me, what is the flavor of this supposed to be? Is it just Inca Cola flavor, or is it supposed to be a specific kind of flavor? Here's another very familiar brand, Lay's. We have the company Frito-Lay, which we have here in the States. And this is Aji Peruano. And this, I guess, is a very popular flavor, this pepper flavor. Mmm, it smells great. Here's a chip. This kind of looks like a regular, ordinary Lay's chip. Let's give it a taste. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's great. It tastes a bit like paprika chips that you would find in Europe. Not at all spicy. Just slightly chili flavored, but delicious. Nice potato flavor, nicely salted. And, and delicious. This is another familiar brand, Nestle, and it's called El Manjar. And from my understanding, Manjar is dulce de leche, which is a kind of caramelized sweetened milk. And this is very squishy and soft. So just by the name, El Manjar reminds me of my tasting of Colombia, which I'll put the link down below. But it was a very different texture than this. It wasn't squishy. It was firmer, more like a confection or a candy. But yeah, Peruvian friends, do tell me more about El Manjar. And it is quite dark and caramel -y in color. It looks beautiful. I'm going to smear it on my cracker. And it's a beautiful color. It looks a lot like the craft caramel squares in color. It smells great. All right, let's give it a taste. Here we go. Mmm. Really rich and milky and caramely. A bit like the caramel that you would have on the outside of a caramel apple, but not that chewy, firm texture. Very soft and creamy and delicious. <laughs> this is called carinto salado, and it looks like a savory snack. Here they are. And they look like maybe they're peanuts. Hmm, they are. They're coated peanuts. They're shelled peanuts that have a crispy coating on the outside. And they're good. They remind me a little bit of these peanut snacks you can get in Japan. Similar kind of coating on the outside, but in Japan it would be a little bit thicker. And of course it would be flavored with some sort of seaweed or something, but similar kind of crunch and texture. But delicious, quite salty. I think it would be make an excellent beer snack. According to Leia, this is a proven classic. It's called Full Cherry, and it looks like it's a hard candy. Wow, look at that color. It's very vividly bright pink in color. Mmm! It's actually a very familiar flavor. It's artificial cherry flavor, and it's slightly mentholated. It reminds me of those Luden's cough drops. Have you ever had those here in the States? They're not pink, they're red, and but a similar kind of lozenge shape. And similar flavor. Delicious. This is called Chiles. Bucky flavor, and these look like plantain chips. So that's what they look like inside. And for those of you that don't know what plantains are, plantains are similar to bananas in gestalt, but they don't taste anything like bananas. They're a lot more starchy. And these are sliced thin and fried. All right, let's give them a taste. Mmm. Good. Nicely fried and nice and crisp, but they have a nice starchy texture, more like a potato. 
but quite a different kind of crunch, more of a brittle crunch, and quite similar to the plantain chips that I had in my El Salvador video. I'll put the link down below in case you missed that. Mm. Triangula, and it looks like a triangle-shaped candy. It is scored so you can snap them, and in terms of shape, it reminds me a little bit of a Toblerone. And it's just a plain milk chocolate bar. It's good. In terms of sweetness and amount of milk, it's very similar to a Hershey's Kiss. And actually in the way it snaps as well. It's good. Let's try this. This is another sweet made by Nestle, and it's called Sublime. And I guess this is like the Peruvian national candy bar, according to Leia. Chocolate con leche con mani. So milk chocolate with mani, but I'm not sure what mani is. Maybe mani is manjar? Let's see. Oh, it's a beautiful bar. Very solid looking chocolate bar. Tadakimasu. Mmm. Peanuts. Mmm. Money are peanuts. Delicious. It actually reminds me a little bit of a Whitaker's peanut slab from New Zealand. But the Whitaker's peanut slab has a lot more peanuts in it. This has much more chocolate, which I kind of prefer just because I'm a chocolate fiend. Just a sweet chocolate bar, very similar to the Triangulo in terms of level of sweetness and milk, but just studded with little roasted peanuts. Delicious. Mm-hmm. Here in the States, this would be similar to like a Mr. Good bar, but of course a different experience texturally because this is much thicker, while Mr. Good bar is a lot thinner. And I think a Mr. Good bar has more peanuts. So there's also Sublime Blanco, which I believe would be white chocolate. Here it is. Beautiful. Mmm. Yes, indeed, it has peanuts in it as well. But it's white chocolate. So much meltier and smoother. And then more of a kind of a vanilla cocoa butter flavor rather than chocolate. But still good. Yum. Of the two, I think I like the original chocolate better, but I think it's also because I appreciate chocolate more than white chocolate. Again, taste is subjective. Glasitas were Leia's favorite cookies when she was in school. Looks like it's a toffee glazed cookie. There's some toffee on the bottom and some striping on top. All right, Ooh, let's give that a taste. Here we go. Mmm. That is quite nice. We've got like a biscuit-like cookie kind of light and not overly sweet. And then you've got this kind of butterscotchy glaze on it. Nice. Picara sabor chocolate. It's a little donut shaped cookie. Adorable. And it's dipped on the bottom and half dipped on top. So similar to the glasitas in terms of being glazed. Ooh, it smells good. It smells kind of coconutty. Mmm. Mm-hmm. The cookie itself is a bit like a vanilla wafer and a biscuit, kind of crisp and not overly sweet, hinted with coconut, and then the whole thing's dipped in chocolate. Yum. But this is made by the company Field, Dona Peppa. Cute. Just like her headpiece, these are studded with non perials How cute. Mmm. <laughs> Very fun. So the sprinkles give the cookie a really fun, playful candy crunch. And the cookie is actually quite similar to the Picaras cookie. It's crisp and biscuit-like and a little bit like a vanilla wafer, but very plain vanilla flavor and then just a light hint of chocolate. But I think the real fun part of this is the sprinkles. This is made by Field as well. It's called Choco Soda. And it looks like it might be a soda wafer, soda cracker dipped in chocolate. It looks like a cracker that's been enrobed in chocolate. It smells great. Let's give it a taste. Mm-hmm. It's a saltine cracker that's been dipped in chocolate. There's actually a dessert in the U.S. here that's really popular around Christmas time that involves using saltine crackers, this kind of syrupy caramel concoction, and then chocolate. It's delicious. I actually had a roommate in college that used to make it all the time, and it was crazy addictive. Anyways, this is very similar, but this is a little less, this is a little more tame. Mm-hmm. 
It's great though, I really like it. Perfect balance of salty and sweet. Just a kiss of chocolate, get the nice taste of the saltine cracker with some salt. Fantastic, I love it. Very simple, very humble, and delicious. All right, so that concludes my taste of Peru. Leia and Sebastian, thank you so much for coordinating and getting this package together for me. It was great. My first taste of Peru gets a big thumbs up. It was delicious. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys learned something. Let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions or comments about some of the foods I've eaten or anything I should try. I want to know. All right, thanks you guys again, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye. It looks like it's two different flavors, melon and ichigo, so melon and strawberry flavors, and they have different respective toppings. If you've never had one of these Japanese mixing candy kits before, this one's probably a good one to start with. Neru 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 ne.